Hey, Salil. How was your day, my dude? Uh, not too good, my dude. Got right by Mr. Arthur again. Any filler marks? Nope. Jared stole them all. <sighs> Salil? I'm pregnant. <gasps> no, dude. No. I'm pregnant with your kid, my dude. I will not accept this. We need to speak to a professional right away. Did someone say... <gasps> professional? <gasps> ben Bergen! The man, the myth, the legend! Ben's the guy, the science guy! There are many more sides to pregnancy than you may think. Let's look at the overall picture. Where are we? In a vagina! Hey! What's that? Glad you asked. That sperm. Why, why does it have my face on it? I live for two things. Fertilization and curry. Look! It's me! It's you. As an egg. How come I've gotta be the egg? Wow! Look at that spermy Salil slithering toward me. He looks like a pretty chill dude. I don't wanna see this, Ben. As you can see, spermy Salil successfully made it inside Eggy Connor. But a lot of things had to be in place for this meeting to occur. First of all, the vagina has a resting pH between 3.8 and 4.5, but when you're ovulating, this rises to between 7.0 and 14.0, meaning it's alkaline. Sperm has a resting pH between 7.2 and 8, so it can only thrive in an alkaline environment. If your vagina is too acidic, well, let's take a look at what happens. It feels really hot in here. You should probably get that checked out. Good golly my golly, Spermy Salil! It's far too acidic in here for you to thrive! Honestly? Still a better love story than Twilight. The vagina was too acidic for Spermy Salil, so Eggy Connor was left alone and unfertilized. So it clearly needs to be super basic. Well, not too basic. Look! Yeast, 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 yeast. Damn, dude, you got some mad problems. Stay away, bro. That was a yeast infection. Ew. Ew. Right. So, it's important to keep your vagina at a reasonably basic pH. But more important than that, make sure your uterus maintains a pH above its 6.6 .6 to 7.6 .6 average. This way, your baby can properly form. What can I do to increase my pH? Well. One thing you could do is engage in sexual intercourse. Having sex raises the pH of your vagina, making it more basic. Yeah, that's not happening. Any other options? Well, you could eat your leafy greens. Cool. I'll try that. Mm. Got any more leafy greens? <gasps> Here! Have those oversized, oversized stock of celery. Hold on nice. now. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, what's happening? His body has become dangerously alkaline. Quick, give him some acidic food. Me. Good. Dairy. Great. Corn. That's a bit much now. Sugar. Stop. Quick. The blood is too acidic. His blood is becoming acidic. Pregnant people need an average of only 71 grams of protein daily. He's had way too much. As a result, excessive acidic ketones have been produced by the liver. What's up, fool? I'm about to pop some pH up in this vagina. I don't... I don't like him. Neither does the human body, in excess. Good thing we have the bone buffer. By trading off cations, such as calcium, sodium, and potassium, in exchange for hydronium ions, the bone buffer can regulate the body's pH. Wow! That's so cool! Oh, but we, we should probably get out of here, though. Get ready, guys. Let's go! Safe and sound. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my arm? That's the only problem with the bone buffer system. If too much protein is introduced and the body has to deal with too many hydronium ions, bone loss may occur. The body only has so many minerals it can give away without it being damaging. No! How am I ever gonna... Eat my sandwich. At least you have your other hand to... Eat your sandwich. There's still plenty to explore in the pregnancy equilibrium system. Time to revisit the body to see what changes later into the pregnancy.
the blood naturally becomes more acidic during pregnancy. There are two primary reasons for this. Firstly, a growing fetus requires alkaline minerals which it pulls from the mother's bloodstream. Secondly, after absorbing these nutrients through the umbilical cord, the fetus produces acidic waste. Consequently, the concentration of carbonic acid ions decreases and bicarbonate ions decrease, making the blood more acidic. <gasps> Le Chatelier's principle! Since the HCO3 minus ions decrease and the H2CO3 ions increase, that means the overall reaction shifts left, causing for an overall increase in the production of H3O plus ions. Now, women must counteract this drop in pH. Too acidic blood will result in fetus mortality. To do this, pregnant women increase their respiration rate, exhaling 20 to 30 percent excess carbon dioxide. With less carbon dioxide in the body, this reaction shifts left decreasing the amount of H2CO3 in the body. Excellent! You guys are pregnancy experts. This natural pH regulation is also very important for pregnant women as their blood buffer capacity is much lower than average. 7.50 compared to 9.93. Let's get out of here. So let's review pregnancy cause that's what's up Cause Salil came over and knocked Connor up The vagina has a resting pH that's acidic We gotta do what we can to make it more basic During ovulation or during procreation A basic pH is a uterus's motivation So before you make a scene Just eat your leafy greens If too basic take some meat but not too much protein Too much can make some ketones Take nutrients from your bones To combat dehydration use calcium, calcium buffer my bros Don't use it too much or bone loss will occur Just keep it above 7 and you'll be a winner To combat the acidity Blood buffer is the key. Hyperventilation removes CO2 at a faster rate than normally. HCO3 goes down, a reactant limitation. Le Chatelier means more reactant formation. Start exhaling 20 to 30 percent faster, and you can give birth like a gosh darn master. Now listen here, cause if you wanna keep a child's future bright and clear You wanna keep your pH levels quite relatively basic Evasive of what acidity creates It will cause a miscarriage due to the extreme damage Suffer from environmental causes Because it's not alkaline enough to thrive and survive inside you alive Pregnant people got a lower buffer capacity Making it a little tougher to fight off those acids It's not a blast kit to eat your leafy greens like your mother's been asking that's all we have to say, so peace out. We'll be back another day, so don't pout. It's a little Jari Connor, Sweet and Ben Bergen, and we're praying for some Philomark stats for certain. Ben's the guy, the science guy.